hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this amazing chicken shawarma to start things off in a heated pan add in your oil once oil is properly heated add in your chicken thighs i always use chicken thighs because they are the juiciest part of the chicken fry until lightly colored Then you're going to go ahead to season with some paprika, some curry, some seasoning cube and salt. You're to season to your desired taste because personally, I prefer a very spicy chicken. Stir to combine. Stir occasionally to avoid the chicken burning. Once properly fried, remove chicken from the fire and set aside. Still in that pan, add oil. Once oil is properly heated, add in your sausages. Flip side occasionally to ensure equal cooking on both sides. Once fried properly on both sides, remove from the fire and set aside. Then the ingredients you'll be needing are one large shredded cabbage, 15 fried sausages, 15 tortilla wraps or shawarma bread, 10 pieces chicken thighs diced and fried, 10 grated large carrots. For the cream, you'll be needing one jar of mayonnaise, two tablespoon paprika, and one tube of ketchup. We're going to combine the ketchup and the mayonnaise together. For some heat, we season cream with some paprika, then we proceed to stir until properly combined. Adding paprika to the cream is totally optional. Into a large bowl, add in your cabbage, your carrots, then stir until combined. Proceed to add in your cream and combine until each one of the cabbage and carrot mixture is fully coated with this amazing cream. Once combined, add in your chicken and fold in until properly coated. This will require some arm workout but the result is absolutely amazing. Now this is the fun part, lay out your shawarma bread on a tray and fill with your desired amount of cabbage mixture. Place your sausage directly in between, then wrap, fold it inwardly. After placing your sausage, you can decide to add in more cream if you like a creamier shawarma. Then you just repeat the process over and over again. If you've gotten to this part of the video, do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends and family. Repeat the same procedure until you run out of shawarma bread. You can decide to put two sausages according to your preference. Once done, line them onto an oven tray. If you do not own an oven, you can place shawarma in a heated pot or pan, flipping occasionally until hot and bread becomes crispy. Once 
once shawarma bread align bake on medium heat for 10 minutes and there you have the easiest and most delicious chicken shawarma you can make at home i kid you not when i say this shawarma is absolutely tasty juicy and it checks all the boxes that shawarma should do not forget to tag us on instagram and tiktok at underscore ninjola in the kitchen when you recreate this amazing recipe and kindly do not forget to leave a comment down below on what recipe you would like me to drop next see you in my next video enjoy